with that down, let's move on to our fourth and final main topic today. And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Greg Meyer, who writes, With Jurassic World Dominion now shooting, I came across a story that there is a Jurassic World TV series in development that takes place in the same world as the movies and will be airing on the new Peacock Network. What are your thoughts? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, a quick perusal around my news feed uh, this morning. I saw there are a number of places running that story that they are developing a Jurassic World movie now or Jurassic World TV series I should say as I always tell everybody whenever you hear a story like this I encourage everybody to track follow it back to the source don't tell me what website you read it on tell me what website or where that website said they got their information from and as you go through you're finding that this story is coming from one place and it is a Jurassic World fan site called Jurassic Outpost now that does not mean it's not true. That doesn't mean it's not true. I'm just saying you need to weigh that in and understanding this isn't coming from Variety. This isn't coming from The Hollywood Reporter. This isn't coming from Deadline. It's not coming from Entertainment Weekly. This is coming from a fan site. However, it's a pretty damn good fan site that doesn't get into the habit of throwing around wild BS rumors. So let's take a look at seeing what they're saying about this. Jurassic Outpost wrote the following. We've learned Emblem Television has begun developing a live-action Jurassic World series. Not much is known at this time. However, the series has enlisted Jurassic alum Colin Trevorrow and Steven Spielberg as producers, alongside newcomers Justin Fa uh, Falvey and Daryl Frank. Uh, Daryl Frank and Justin Falvey are the co-presidents of Amblin Television, where they oversee all development, production, and programming for the company. The article goes on to mention a number of the things that they talk about. All right. First of all, I'm going to tell you about why there is a possibility this could be true. Here's what you got away. A Jurassic World television series is consistent with what we've been hearing about the franchise for almost a year now. We have been hearing whispers for almost a year now that they actually might be looking at expanding this Jurassic World world. Uh, and also delving into television. We, of course, just last year, not too long ago, saw them kind of dip their toe into different mediums by releasing a short film, Jurassic World film, on YouTube with the Battle at Big Rock or Battle at Heavy Rock or Battle of the Rock Bands. I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> but they, they dipped their toe into doing that, right? And we've been hearing some whispers that they might want to be expanding. We know that there's an animated series coming. Uh, a Jurassic World animated series is coming. So we know that's there too. So I would suggest that there is reasonable stuff out there that would make it, again, I'll use the word reasonable, to think that maybe this could be true. Now, of course, you got to take that and balance it out with the fact that there's no you know, larger reputable thing confirming this information or verifying this information. It's still all just coming from a fan site. So that's usually a pretty big red flag when it's when when a big piece of news like this is coming from a non big source. It doesn't mean it's not true. It just you got to take that into consideration. So, Rob, I'm going to say right now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I won't be surprised if it is. Given all the other anecdotal evidence that we've had over the past year, I won't be surprised at all if it is true. And it will end up on that freaking Peacock network. Not that I got a problem with the network. It's just the stupidest name in the world for a network. Anyway, so for now, I would say take this story, story with a grain of salt. Uh, it could be true, might not be. I won't be surprised if it is, but Rob, you see this. First of all, what do you think about the idea at all about branching out and going into a television series? And then ultimately, do you think this report is even true? Well, first of all, who, uh, look, ever since I was a small boy, the idea of people getting eaten by dinosaurs has been right up my alley. <laughs> uh, as long as, uh, you know, I, I can't get enough, uh, whether it was stop motion dinosaurs, whatever kind of dinosaurs there are, any dinosaurs that are, that are eating people is, is something that I want to watch. So that said, bring on the dinosaurs. Now, it is difficult uh, convincing dinosaurs of the Jurassic Park quality. I would imagine is would be quite pricey for a, uh, uh, whether it's a weekly show or however they're going to do it. Uh, so it could be an expensive show to produce, but you know they'll concentrate heavily on the on the human characters, and then they'll give us a couple of uh, 
violent dinosaur deaths <laughs> maybe once an episode. But I, I think this makes sense to me. You know, they, they round out the trilogy. They round out the Jurassic World trilogy. And moving on to a streaming service, especially if they're confident, I would imagine <clears throat> that Jura the whatever the final Dominion is about, it's probably going to leave off in a place that makes a TV show uh, pretty viable. Like, whatever the situation is, if the world is now the dinosaur's Dominion, that means there's a, a bunch of stories to tell. And I think that means they're confident on in terms of the movie, and they know that I think that there's an eternal quality. Kids love dinosaurs, John. They'll always love dinosaurs. They'll they'll they always have loved dinosaurs. And who wouldn't want to watch a Jurassic Park show if it's good? I'm in, man. And I think it makes sense to me now. Whether they're going to make it, I don't know. Uh, but but I think it's something with these streaming shows. They need marquee titles. And I think a Jurassic World show or a Jurassic Park, however they're going to, I guess it would be World now. Um, who wouldn't want to watch that? That's a marquee show for a new streaming network. That is a destination program for a, a majority of the viewing audience. Yeah, and you raise a good point there, too, because when you look at the landscape, now look, the streaming wars are just beginning. Yes. But when you look at the landscape, Netflix, obviously, they have Umbrella Academy. They have Stranger Things. They have, I mean, the list is long. The list is long of what big marquee things Netflix has. Disney Plus came out of the gate firing with Mandalorian. And now they got their MCU shows coming and all that kind of stuff. You look even over at Amazon. They got a Lord of the Rings coming up, including a number of other high profile things. Peacock, it still hurts to say it. But anyway, this network is going to need, you're exactly right, Rob. They're going to need a marquee title. They need a big flagship marquee title. And this could be it. So again, I I, yeah. I am not saying I think this, is, this report is true. But I am saying that there's enough stuff here that makes it, seem like it makes sense and would theoretically be a good idea that if it does end up being true, I'm not going to be completely surprised. So whether it's true or not, we'll have to wait and see. Guys, the question for you is two questions, really. Number one, do you think there's any validity when you look at the landscape? Do you think there's any validity to the story? Question number two, theoretically speaking, would doing a Jurassic World series be a good idea? Jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.